Today we're going to have a look at uh, some multimeters. We're going to be testing them with the aid of a HP 6902B calibrator. And the meters we're having a look at, we've got a Keithley 2015 THD. We've got a HP 3478A. We've got a Datron DC voltmeter at 1045 and at the top we've got an Isotec IDM 205 RMS. So we've set the calibrator up to give us one volt of DC and if we look at what we've got on the meters at the moment we can see the Keithley showing 0.99947 we've got the HP showing 0.99948 we've got the Datron showing 0.9997 and the Isotec up the top just showing 0.999 now the Datron is a manual ranging device so let's uh, put that on the 10 volt range and switch the calibrator up to the next range and if we work our way up from the bottom we have got 0.99878 we've sorry that's 9.9877 the HP is 9.987 the Datron 9.989 and the Isotec is showing at 9.98 so let's remember to manually change the range on the, the Datron and reset the calibrator and now we're up to 99.832 on the Keithley 99.834 on the HP and 99.87 on the Datron and 99.8 on the Isotec so for DC volts there are all giving similar readings, all within the uh, expected sort of difference and they're all giving a good confidence that they are actually working well. Let's have a look at the DC current performance. I've set the calibrator to give us one milliamp out of DC and for the Keithley we're seeing 0.997 HP is giving us 0.996 of a milliamp and the Isotec turn its backlight on is giving us 0.997 need to switch the range up on the Isotec and let's go up a range so now we've got 9.97 on the Keithley 9.97 on the HP and 9.96 on the Nice attack. If we go up another range, we'll get to 99.7, 99.7, 99.8. So, all showing good agreement. current port on the Isotec and on one amp we've now got 0 0.996, 0 0.996 and 0.99 and the calibrator 
motor doesn't want to play on its 10 amp range and there's an issue with it. It's a, a rather old thing but it, it's a useful thing to have whilst uh, testing multimeters. So a quick look at the 1 amp. I've now turned the calibrator to AC volts and I've gone back to the 1 volt range and if I turn it on then everything wakes up and the key for shows 0.997 volts and the HP shows 0.994 volts and the Isotec showing 0.999 so that all looks sensible let's go up to 10, the 10 volt range and reset the calibrator sometimes when you change ranges on it it uh, decides it's not happy and turns its output off completely so now we've got 9.96 on the Keithley, 9.95 on the HP and 9.99 on the Isotec and going up a range on the, the calibrator and just reset the output and we've got 99.6 on the Keithley, 99.4 on the HP and 99.9 .9 on the Isotec what I'm going to do now is just wind the voltage down until it says 24 I'm not sure how well that will show up on the video so that the little dial there is showing 240 and if we pan across to the meters we'll see them showing 23.8 they're all showing 23.8 and what we're going to do we're going to go up a range and when we turn the reset the calibrator we'll now see that we've got 238.9 volts on the Keithley 238.6 on the HP and 238.5 on the Isotec so they're all giving good readings on the, uh, the AC voltages and that's reliable enough to show whether your mains is actually on and working which is why I've taken it to 240 volts so let's turn that off and that, that decay away so that's AC volts and DC volts I've now adjusted the uh, the calibrator to amps and I've let's zoom out not in I've adjusted the cabling as well so that the meters are all going to be reading the same current let's turn the backlight back on the on the isotec So if I, I turn the current on, and at the moment we're only on 0.1 of a milliamp, and the one thing I haven't done is turn the meters to AC current, I've turned the, the Isotec to AC current. have a look at measuring resistance just set up an R box up um, okay I've just set up an R box to read 55.55 kilo ohms it's not a particularly brilliant R box but you can see that the isotec's giving a sensible reading with it and if I plug in the HP 
you see that showing 55.61 and the Keithley is showing 55.62 just set the uh, R box up to 10 ohms and you can see the Keithley is reading 10.1 the HP is reading 10.23 and the isotech let's put it into low ohms range and let's plug it into the ohms port and not its milliamp and amp port and we might get more success and that's reading a reading 12 ohms let's have a quick look at the four port measurement or the four wire resistance measurement so let's connect the wires up and then I'll just switch things across so we've now got the sense wires in place for the four, four wire measurement so it's currently reading 10.229 and if we go to a, a four-way measurement it's reading 10.08 and let's just see what the Keithley tells us on that so if we move the wires down then it's reading 10.28 one milliamp and if I put it over a four wire measurement it's reading 10.08 so that's exactly the reading